A blessed and pleasant good afternoon, boys and girls, moms and dads. Welcome to Children's Bible Minutes for today, June the 17th. The internet has been giving us a little bit of problems because it's been raining really, really hard here in Dangriga, but that is quite okay. All will work out well in Jesus' name. Amen. That is just how it is. We have a wonderful little show lined up for you today and it's all about the story of a prophet by the name of isaiah isaiah was a prophet do you know who a prophet was a prophet was somebody that god would inspire to speak the words of god to the people that is who a prophet was in the time of the bible before jesus was born god needed a way to communicate with his people and so he would select people who were faithful to him he would select people who were respected in the society and he would use them in order to bring his messages to his people so today we're going to hear all about the prophet isaiah now let's look at the story and then we will talk some more about what isaiah had to say. During the time of the prophet Isaiah, the people of Israel, God's chosen people, were living in sin. They had forgotten all that God had done for them. They did not keep God's commandments and instead prayed to false gods. God chose a messenger to go tell the people to stop sinning and turn back to God. He chose a man by the name of Isaiah to deliver this message. Isaiah loved God and was sad for the people of Israel. So God showed Isaiah a dream where God told him exactly what to say. In this dream, Isaiah saw God sitting on his exalted throne with angels all around him. In the dream, God spoke, and his voice was so loud, it shook the building and filled it with smoke. Then an angel came to Isaiah and touched his lip with a glowing coal. This meant that Isaiah's sins were forgiven. Then, in the dream, God asked, Whom shall I send? Who will go for me to tell the people of Israel my message? Here I am. Send me. Isaiah replied. It is a difficult task, God responded. The people won't listen, so I am going to punish them. But I am also going to give you a message of hope. I will not punish them forever. The next day, Isaiah began to tell the people what God said. Day in and day out, he told the people the sad news. You have sinned. God will punish you. Stop sinning and obey God. But no, the people didn't return to God. Instead, they laughed and made fun of Isaiah. And then it all happened. Isaiah told the truth and the people of Israel did not listen. God took his protection away from them and the Babylonians conquered Israel. They carried away thousands of Israelites and made them into slaves. The Israelites were dragged away from their own country on ropes and chains. It was too late. God's punishment had started. The people were discouraged and depressed. But Isaiah did not forget that God also gave him a message of hope. This time, the people listened to Isaiah. Hear the good news, he told them. A king is coming, not a sinful one like you're used to. This king will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of peace, there will be no end on the throne of David and over his kingdom to establish it and to uphold it with justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. This was exactly what the people had longed for. Deliverance was coming. Someday, this king would break onto the scene and make everything right again. His name would be Jesus. We want to thank Share Faith Kids for that video. And you see that, boys and girls, Isaiah had a 
message for the people to warn them that they had to change the ways that they were behaving, that they had to turn back to God. And you know something, boys and girls, more than likely, most of the time when we are walking away from God, God always gives us warnings to help us to recognize that we are doing the wrong things and that we should turn around and turn back to him. But sometimes we don't listen to the warnings. And so when we don't listen to the warnings, sometimes we find ourselves in trouble and we find ourselves having to answer for the things that we are doing that are not pleasing to God. And that is what happens to the people when they didn't listen to Isaiah. They didn't believe that God was talking to them through Isaiah. They didn't want to hear what Isaiah had to say. And so they had some difficult times and some hard things happen to them. And it was while these hard things were happening to them that they remembered that they could call upon God. And they were sad. And of course, they were calling upon God. But then Isaiah reminded them that God also gave them a message of hope. Because boys and girls, even when things seem tough, there is still always hope. My mommy used to tell me that behind every dark cloud, there is a silver lining, which means that there is always hope and that we shouldn't give up, especially if we believe in God, especially if we trust in him, because he is the one that can take bad things and turn them into good. He is the one that could take a frown and turn it upside down into a smile exactly and so that was the message that isaiah had but then isaiah's message about who would bring this hope is a very important one because isaiah was making a prophecy about someone who would come long 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 ways from now in the future he was talking about jesus christ who would come to deliver them and pretty soon we will be out of the new testament and headed into the out of the old testament sorry and headed into the new testament where we will begin to hear about the birth of jesus and then looking at the ministry and the life of jesus and the things that he did so that is where we are moving towards here on children's bible minutes but for today we want to tell god thanks for the prophet isaiah for delivering god's message and we want to be willing to either listen when god speaks through others to us or be willing to be the people who God speaks to others through. Mm -hmm. We have to be willing to do both. And we have a wonderful little song tied to today's lesson that we would like to pray for you before we run out of time and then have to pray and leave. So let's listen to this song. simple song of encouragement for us not to give up and that is exactly what Isaiah was telling the people you know what you are doing the wrong things but don't give up believe and trust in God that you could do the things that are right in his sight and when they decided to not listen to him 
even after they had laughed at him, even they had made fun of him, even though they still kept disobeying God, Isaiah's message to them was, you're going to have to pay for these things, but do not give up. And when life got hard, he came back again with a do not give up message for the people. And he said to them, you can change your ways, and this is how you can do. And God is promising us a redeemer that is bigger and better and is going to come to deliver us from all of these hardships. And that's the lesson for today, boys and girls. We're supposed to trust God, stick with him, and do what he tells us, and not give up even when things get hard. And you know what? What would have happened if Isaiah had decided, I am not going to be God's messenger anymore because these people don't want, listen, want to listen to me. Isaiah didn't give up, and so we should not give up either. Sometimes God will call us to give people messages that come from him, and we will not understand the message, and they will not welcome it. But we always have to remember to do what is pleasing in the sight of God. We can't give up. We have to continue trusting in him. But boys and girls, you know what? Even though Rafi, Rafi, Muki, and I are enjoying our time with you, we are running out of time. We only have enough time to pray, and then we will have to say goodbye. I, it might be raining where you are. Please try to stay inside. Please try to stay dry. All right? But for now, can we say a prayer? Would you mind bowing your heads that we could pray? Thank you so very much. Let's pray, guys. Good afternoon, God. God, we just want to thank you for the opportunity to come into your presence and to learn from your word. We are thankful for the story of Isaiah today and for the encouragement it gives us to not give up. God, help us to always be willing to listen to the messages that you will send us and be willing to share it with the people that you love when you do share this message. And God, even if the people don't always welcome us and want to hear the message, help us to remember that we are not to give up. That when you call upon us to serve you and to do for you, even when we make and face challenges, we have to continue to do what is pleasing in your sight and we can't give up. God, we pray that we would have ears to hear your messages and lips be willing to speak them. We pray, God, for those who would laugh at us, those who have not come to know you. We pray that they would feel your presence that you will open their minds and their hearts to be able to hear and see the things that come from you. Help us to always be willing and to never give up. Help us to remember that there is a promised redeemer in the person of Jesus that can help us to turn our lives around. And we give you thanks, God, for sending Jesus to be our savior. We just lift ourselves and our prayers unto you, God, asking for your protection and your blessing upon us today and forevermore. We pray this in the name of your most precious son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Boys and girls, thank you so much for allowing me to pray with you. Thank you so much for joining us on Children's Bible Minutes brought to you by the Anglican Diocese of Belize. Graffi and Muki and I are always excited to be with you. It was raining, but we came through the rain because we wanted to spend time with you today. Stay safe here. Stay home. Do not go playing in the rain because we don't want you to be sick. Stay dry. And until next time. Bye for now.